Hello, today I am going to show the anatomy of the heart. First, we will look some external features of the heart. The pointed tip of the heart is apex and the opposite side of apex is called the base of the heart. Now we have to identify the anterior and posterior side of the heart. For that you need to locate the ear like flaps These ear like flaps opens to the anterior side of the heart so this is the anterior side of the heart and this is the posterior side of the heart The heart is divided into four chambers we will look into the chambers internally and externally. To see the internal chambers, we will dissect the heart. It is easy to start from the apex. So after dissection through the apex, this is how it looks like. The chamber starting from the apex is the left ventricle. See, you can also see the thick wall on the left side compared to the thin wall. So this is left ventricle and this is left atrium. Right ventricle. and right atrium. The two ventricles are separated by interventricular septum. This thick muscular wall is the interventricular septum. Now on the exterior side from apex this is the left ventricle left atrium right ventricle and right atrium the groove separating atrium and ventricle is called coronary sulcus the groove separating left and right ventricles are called anterior interventricular sulcus same way on the posterior side you can see interventricular posterior sulcus you can also see the fat deposition in the sulcus Now we look into the valves separating the atrium and ventricle. So the valve between, so this is your le uh, left side, the valve separating the left atrium and left ventricle is called bicuspid or mitral valve. The valve separating right atrium and right ventricle is called tricuspid valve. So bicuspid and tricuspid valve attached to the muscular projection called papillary muscles through cord like structure. These cords are called cordi tendini. Now the inner ridges and folds in the ventricles are called trabeculae carni. Cordi tendini, papillary muscles and the folds are called trabeculae carni. Now we can look into the blood vessels. 
we can see it clearly from the base of the heart and uh, towards the posterior side thick large opening is the aorta so near the base of the heart aorta pulmonary trunk and superior vena cava so superior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood to the right atrium through tricuspid valve it reaches the right ventricle through pulmonary valve it reaches the pulmonary trunk and to the lungs where it gets oxygenated then oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium through pulmonary vein left from left atrium to left ventricle by bicuspid valve and left ventricle contraction pump the blood to aorta through aortic valve that is how it works thanks for watching